All right, guys. Here we go. Welcome back to Kale's This Old House. I think we're on episode four, if I remember right. I, you know, okay, so here's an update on what's going on with my current situation, all right? And I appreciate that Ryan O'Neill's watching because, hell, before this is all said and done, I'm probably going to need an electrician, all right? Again, this $3.25 repair, now we have got more money invested. And I'm going to show you why here in a minute. All right, let me walk back here. Now, um, I had a minor setback, let's say, just a little bit ago. And uh, it's stuff like this that you just don't, plan for when you're doing a project but again when you're working on a house that was built in the 60s you got to take shit in consideration that that stuff is older than you are okay yes i was not in vietnam contrary to popular belief all right okay so anyway the house is older than i am okay now so, I'm trying to work on this house. Now, I already told you the fact that I knocked the shitter off of the mounting ring, okay? Uh, clear the, smooth off. I mean, clear smooth off of the mounting ring, okay? Now, the shitter is no longer established to the sewer system, if you get what I'm saying, okay? Okay? The bunt cake has been bunt, all right? It's gone. It smells, okay? So, guys, I'm trying to de-escalate the situation by removing the toilet, and then I'm going to plug plug the, the sewer line with plastic bags because I had a plumbing buddy, Shane Vigoran, show me how to do that. So that's the point I was wanting to get to. Well, in order to get to that point, you got to shut the water off to the toilet. All right? Now, keep in mind, this house, again, was built in the 60s, and I have no idea if anybody's ever changed a valve in this house. All right? I don't know. But anyway, my venture to say is no. So... I'm in here, okay, now, I've already cleared out the bathroom, okay, I've cleared it out of, of the stuff that was in there already, okay, so now, I'm coming in here, and I'm trying to remove the shitter, all right, and let me show you something, guys, there's a little valve, right down here, right, well, right there, that little valve right there, just cost me more time and money. I'm trying, if you noticed, it does not have an on-off deal, all right? The reason being is, I went down there to shut it off, and whenever I shut it off, it blew smooth out. I mean, it blew smooth out. There was water Spraying everywhere. Hell, I thought I was back at night. Well, I've never been to Niagara Falls. I thought I was out at Romano's again. All right? Underneath that waterfall at Romano's. I thought I was there. I was reminiscing about my fun time that I had with my wife Gretchen Ann down there at Romano's. But while I'm reminiscing, there's water getting in everywhere in the house. All right? Now, now, now in my phone, okay... My phone's clear the hell as far away as possible as it could be, all right? Just so happens the one time, it just so happens to be the farthest away that it could be, all right? So, now, I'm, I'm down here trying to close the valve with my thumb, all right? 
And I'm trying to figure out, well, how in the hell am I going to get the water turned off so I can take my thumb off this thing, you know? And guys, after having 12 back surgeries and sitting their freak down there just to try, just to try to shut it off, and then it blows smooth out on me, Guys, I'm at a disadvantage, all right? I had probably, I don't know, 60 PSI of water coming through there, shooting at me, and I'm drenched. So I'm trying to find my phone. I'm trying to block this to smooth off, okay? So here's what I do. I notice, and I watched a couple episodes of MacGyver back in my day. So what I did was I noticed there was a towel up here on the shower. Now, nobody tell my wife that I used her brand new towel that cost us $18.95, all right, at Dillard's, all right? She had to have the towel. So, but it was all I could grab. So, the MacGyver in me, okay, and plus the combat, well, not the combat, but the, the field medic training part that I had about applying a tourniquet, all this stuff starts coming to mind, all right? How am I going to stop this massive bleeding? Well, it just so happens, guys, that there was a tampon box, no joke, there was a tampon box sitting right in front of the stool that I just left there this morning. So in my infinite wisdom, I come up with taking a tampon and shoving it, shoving it in there to stop the water from coming in just long enough for me to grab the phone, all right, to make a call so I could get some help over here, all right? So I shove a tampon in there to get it to stop, all right? Now... This wasn't obviously a heavy day tampon, all right? Because no longer I shove it in there. I mean, she's flowing, all right? She doesn't have them overflow reservoirs, you know, that they say that are so great. She didn't have that. It was just a straight tampon. So I'm sli I, I, it's in there, all right? And I run to get the phone and I finally get to the phone, all right? Just in time to get back because a tampon blows out. <laughs> blows the freak out of there, okay? So I put my thumb back over the top of it, okay? I wish you I wish I would have been live, okay? I should have set up a webcam. <laughs> so I've got my thumb over this deal again, alright? And <laughs> And, and I'm trying to make a call with one hand, all right? Now, you're doing this on a smartphone, okay? Now, a smartphone, you got to have body heat in order, in order for it to work, okay? Well, if you are soaked by cold water, all right, you don't have any body heat. So I'm sitting here, I got, I'm plugged up, all right, with one hand, and with the other, I'm trying to do it with one thumb, all right? Try, trying to get to, to whoever I could call. I don't care who it was I'm calling. So I hit redial. I don't know who I'm getting. I don't know if I'm getting that bill collector <laughs> that just called or not. I have no idea who I'm getting. So anyway, I call, and it's my wife. And she says, dear, are you doing all right? And I said, well, I got a problem. She says, okay, what's the problem? I said, we got a flow here that I can't stop with any normal tampon. And she was like, what the hell are you talking about? I said, well, I'm trying to shut the toilet off, and the valve blows out, okay? And I'm trying to tell her this, and in the most calm way that I can, okay? <laughs> but trying to tell her, you need to hurry up and get somebody here, okay? So I, I tell her, call, I don't care who you call, just have somebody come over here so they can put their thumb over the hole so I can run out to the street, all right? Now, it gets better, okay? It gets better. So anyway, 
she calls her she she calls her mom and dad, and, and I'm grateful that he came in to to help out. Okay, but I call her in between time, and I say, "Hey, you need to call the city of Garber and tell them to come out here and shut this freaking water off because I can't hold this back any longer." So anyway, she says, "Honey," she says, "I just remember there's a shut off valve in the closet. All right, go go there." And I'm like, "Okay." Now, I'm down to four tampons, okay? And I figured, all right, each tampon gave me about 15 seconds of peace last time before it blew out, all right? So I'm down to four tampons, okay? Now, you figure 15 seconds of peace. I got a full minute. Did you all figure that out? Did you figure it out? I got 60 seconds there. Some of you are saying, I thought there was 100 seconds in a minute. No, guys. Anyway, so I'm four tampons to the good, and I know where the, well, I know approximately where it's at. So I make a dead run. Now, I shove another tampon in the, vet, in the deal, and then I run in there to the other faucet or into the other closet to hit the shutoff valve. Now, the Clark Griswold in me, Okay, well, the valve's kind of kind of hard to go, but I've got water going every freaking place in the bathroom. Okay, not thinking about wrenching on this valve. You see where I'm going? So anyway, I wrenched on the valve, and it finally closed. Luckily. But shortly after it closed, the freaking handle breaks off. So now, okay, not only, okay, do I start out at a $3.50 piece of PVC pipe. Now I've got all new furniture for in here in the bathroom. All right. So then we got... You know, a brand new toilet coming because we ain't gonna use this one no more. Because if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do it, all right, we gonna we gonna do it in style, all right. And I'm even thinking about maybe, maybe one of them bidet things. What do y'all think about one of them bidets? You know, so um, then I could be in here bidazed and confused. You know, so um, anyway. I, I'm thinking maybe a bidet might go well in here, you know, in our upgrade that we're doing. So you all stay tuned. I don't know if Lowe's has them or they're a special order thing or not, but, you know, I think that might feel kind of good down there in them parts. So um, anyway, um, I got to let this all dry out. Luckily, I had a shop vac available and uh, I got, I don't know, well, that thing's full of water now, so... That's how much water got out of here in that short of time. And again, I'm soaked from head to toe right now. So I'm going to have to do a wardrobe change. All right, I didn't plan on doing a wardrobe change until tomorrow. But now i got to do a wardrobe change. All right, so now that's costing us money in the laundry department. All right, you all see how this $3.50 fix just went to who knows what. I mean, my goodness. So... Again, when you go out there and you think you're going to do the home pro thing, guys, just watch what you're doing, okay? And be prepared to spend more than $3.25, all right? You need to allow that, all right? Just for just for a bit of mind, okay? Uh, you know, I'd always say, you know, just double the price, so allow $7, you know, $3.50 and $3.57. $3 That's common core math there, folks. Um, you all think I'm just an ignorant redneck, but I got it right off the bat. So anyway, um, we got that. Okay. So I don't know where I was going. I'm so frustrated. I'm, so, you know, I'm, I'm, my socks are wet. I'm wet. I'm so, hell, I got Gretchen's good towel in here trying to dry out. I, I don't know what she's going to do when she find out I put her $19 deal in the deal down there. But anyway, had to do what you got to do. All right, guys. So 
Now, my next project is on this old house, episode five, on your next one, you're going to see me having to replace these valves. Now, this could propose another problem because you're going from what looks to be fairly, I mean, maybe 70, maybe 80 fittings to cast iron stuff. So I got that going too. All right, guys. So anyway, you know, hell, again, $3.50 is what it should have cost me, okay? And I tell you right now, my credit card is already maxed out. Fuck, the bill collector is already calling me on it. It was due yesterday, and I just charged stuff on it yesterday. And he calling me already. Hey, where's my money? Well, dude, it's in the mail. Didn't you get it? Well, no. Well, it's a holiday, you idiot. It's in the mail. Demon Christmas. Give it time. But, you know, that's the only crazy guy that ever calls me. Is that bill collector, and we're getting to know each other pretty damn good. You know, so I hope he keeps on calling. I hope old Raphael doesn't lose his job up there, you know, where he's doing that from, India or wherever he's in. So, I, you know, it seems like a good paying job for old Raphael. So... You know, Raphael seems like a good guy. I think Raphael and I could have a beer together. You know, hell, we could sit over here and talk amongst us while we're changing out a shitter. You know, that's how close Raphael and I are on the phone. So, uh, anyway, um, um, I don't know what else to do, guys. But my bed, hell, I don't even know if we're going to be able to sleep on the bed tonight. And, and, you know, the thing about it is, you know, she gets kind of frisky. And when she starts getting frisky and all that stuff's on the bed like that, guys, that that's going, you know, that ain't going to be good either. You know, so I'm going to have to clear that bed off because she ain't going to have that being no tool storage thing for the next three, five business days. All right. So um, um, anyway, you know, it's it, it's always something here in the household. All right. And I'm bringing it to you live, unfiltered. This is just how it is, guys, you know, and uh Hill, um, you know, uh, I I watched this old house several times, you know, and hell, I thought I was up there with Bob Vila. I really did. I was a master carpenter before I went into the army. I was a master carpenter. This shit's kicking my ass, and it's pre-built stuff. I don't know if they're doing metric sizes. I don't know what they're doing. I know I know this stuff's made in China, all right, but we got it pre-tariff which is good, okay, so we got it pre-tariff, so we got it cheap, but, you know, the thing about it is, hell, I don't know what sizes they're measuring, because just so happens that, see, this problem is going to get even more expensive, and I'm going to go ahead and just tell you right now, all right, since I got your attention. Not only am I got to put the cabinet in here, okay, but I got to make modifications to the cabinet. All right, you see where the valves are. All right, you see the valves. All right, you see where they're located. Okay, all that looks good, right? Okay, common place for your valves. All right, well, unless you build your shit in China and maybe you don't have in home plumbing or whatever, because then when you go to buy a cabinet, you run into a problem and you got a board. Right in the way. That's right where the valves are. Well, you know, the whole reason why we did this was because Gretchen needed cabinet space, all right? She needed drawers, all right? Well, this just so happens to fall where the drawer supports are, okay? So now, now I got to figure out the Bob Vila, the inner Bob Vila in me has got to come out, okay? And I got to retrofit this sucker, all right, so I can get it in there, all right, so it looks like something that Bob Vila did, all right. And guys, again, if you don't know who Bob Vila is, you need to YouTube him. He's a damn good carpenter, all right. He's better than any of that stuff on HGTV or, or whatever they flipping houses, all that, whatever they're flipping nowadays. Come over here and flip my freaking toilet for me. I mean, come over here and flip my freaking toilet. 
All right? I got all the shit. You just come over here and flip it for me. How's that? You know? Man, help a brother out. HBO, help a brother out. Okay. So anyway, that's my rant, okay? This all started over that $3.50 and and I say $3.50. It was 3.25 this morning, but the tariff went in effect, okay? And now it's 3.50. And so this is now a $3.50 part, okay? That originally was going to fix this whole problem, okay? And I'm just saying now I'm like over a thousand times that into this project, okay? So, um, I, I just be careful, guys, when you get into home improvement stuff, all right? Watch what, you, watch what you're doing. And, uh, you know, there's there's sometimes you need to leave stuff to the pros. And, uh, you know, um, I professionally screwed this up. So, uh, I'm going to have to fix it. Or Gretchen Ann ain't going to get a shower tonight, and my ass is really going to be in deep water. So, anyway, i got to get off here. i got to get this stuff pulled. i got to get to Lowe's. I hope you all are enjoying this and all that. And uh, you all have a great afternoon. And once I get back from Lowe's with all the fittings and get ready to go, um, I'll get back with you. You know, but um, until next time on this old house, episode, I think it's episode five now, if I'm right, uh, we're going to learn how to change out valves, and we're going to learn how to pull shitters, all right? So you tune in to episode five, okay? It'll be Aaron. It, it's it's the next in series, guys. It's easy shit, all right? Easy to figure out. It's the next one in the series. So when you see me go live again, you know that it's the next series, Okay? Um, so anyway, um, I'll be back. I got to pull these fittings. Hopefully I got to pull, I can pull these fittings again. I got a bad back and I don't have the torque that hell. I don't know. I don't know what I could compare my torque to, but anyway, it, I'm just not torquing very hard anymore. If you understand what I'm saying. So I just got to watch how I torque. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to get off here guys. I'm going to get back to work. You all have a great day. I'll see you soon with valve replacement and shitter replacement. All right? So you all tune in next, and we'll get that, that stuff taken care of. I'll see you soon.